Oxygen, when unbound to any other material, can be toxic to life because oxygen destroys the reductive life body. Therefore, the first photosynthetic organisms would have been anaerobic microbes, which produced no oxygen. Life, however, adapted, taking advantage of oxygen. As a valuable source of additional energy, This development resulted in the appearance of cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria produced oxygen, which crystallized into felsic iron-bearing oxide, reducing the iron content of the ocean. Still, the ocean was five times as saline as it is today. As the Earth's interior cooled, old slabs of the primordial crust, resting at the bottom of the upper mantle, fell into the lower mantle. Meanwhile, numerous mantle plumes ascended from the lower mantle into the upper mantle. This phenomenon is known as mantle overturn. Mantle plumes pushed the basaltic crust upward, generating landmass. This created shallow marine environments penetrated by sunlight which allowed the cyanobacteria to flourish. The oxygen produced by the cyanobacteria gradually altered the Earth's atmosphere. On the ocean floor, ferric and ferrous iron were accumulating in the form of hematite and magnetite, creating a massive banded iron formation. By 2.5 billion years ago, the remaining banded iron formation was a few kilometers thick. This rapid decrease in iron content changed the color of the ocean to a familiar blue. Life began to change the surface environment. Such is the coevolution of the Earth and its inhabitants. This was an important step in life on Earth's long journey toward civilization. <laughs>